The travelling stock routes are, are beautiful natural reserves and we just think that that's where our sculpture should be, in, in the natural environment. And the local land services, um, we've worked in partnership with them and, and um, it's all working out really well. Travelling stock reserves are a, a big thing to the state. There's probably two million hectares of them scattered around the place and they're very, very concentrated through here. They were originally made for travelling stock, but it's good to be involved in things that actually are a benefit to the wider community. Forbes is a growing community and we expect that over a 12-month period we will have about 150,000 people uh, that will come and look at the sculptures. Sculptures that are actually on the uh, travelling stock routes that are in. One is Goanna, there is the amazing sculpture and there is one called uh, water tower which is reminiscent of all those water towers that properties used to have to hold their rainwater tank. There's about another 14 to go up so uh, th it's considerable and it goes right down to Condobolin, right down the Lachlan River so it's going to be a real treat for a day out going and visiting all the sculptures and they are magnificent. They're not small, they're huge and they all have great meaning. It's value adding to something that's already there. There's a massive amount of reserves in the state. But it's just another thing that we can make a dollar out of and everybody gets the benefit of, you know. Yeah, it's all pluses really. I can't speak highly enough about the Art Society and, and their vision for this trail. This trail will be the biggest and the best in the world and there's no two ways about that. Local land services, it took us a little bit of time but now that we have got our concept over and they have come on board and they're real terrific partners and of course the state government has funded a considerable amount of this sculpture trail so it, it's um, we're all in and a great partnership with Council Art Society and local land services. I think the working relationship we've had with the local council and the arts group is one of the first and I think there's a lot of other things we could be involved in. I think we've got a lot of backup there too. The LLS is a big setup with a lot of well-organised people and I think the more things we can do with the community the better.